te amaba, hoy me arrepiento. Si una vez sí que te amaba, no sé lo que pensé, estaba loca. Si una vez sí que te amaba y que por ti la vida daba. Si una vez sí que te amaba, no, no lo vuelvo a hacer. Yeah, yeah. Ese error, rewind. What's up, everybody? What the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, the one, the only. Bird motherfucking Tinez, bitch. Say louder for the bitches in the back. All the bitches in the back. All the fucking putas sucias in the way back. Woo! What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing good in the motherfucking neighborhood. Woo! Bitch, let me motherfucking tell you. It has been a week. I am such a not a party planner this is why party planners get paid and you should appreciate them you should lick their asshole porque pa planear algo you need to be like a certified ass fucking you know que te gusta planear las cosas i'm the opposite i'm just like oh look a butterfly let's go like todo me como se dice me distraigo i get so distracted so it has been crazy. First of all, the Sweet 16 girl, aquí está. You could tell she's a little nervous. She's a little shook. How do you feel, Mandy? Your birthday thing is tomorrow. Shook. Do you feel like, what the hell is going on? Let's see. Like, are you, ex I think you're excited, no? You look so excited. <laughs> no, it's because like, we're not like party people at all. I mean, we like to have fun, but like us, you know how there's some Mexicans that have parties every weekend, every weekend, every weekend? No, I don't know how they even do it. So, my wheelchair se chingó. I got stuck at la superior in the, um, como se dice? Como se dice? Aisle, in aisle four. I was stuck right there. I was trying to like move it. I was trying to figure it out. The battery was charged. It was just fucked up. So I finally called somebody. The manager came. He was trying to fix it, según él. But all he did was push my ass out of the fucking... La superior. So I started chorizo, trying to manage things. So he pushed my ass out at 10 o'clock at night and left me outside. Like, he just left me there. And I'm there, and Mario got off work till 11. So I was like, I have to wait an hour. And you know, there's always like crackheads and crazy people walking around. So Mario was a little scared. I told them, no, I'm fine. I keep still keep kicking it with the crackheads. You know, we're chilling. But what was really awesome was that a security guard came out, started talking to me. Ya estábamos, you know, chopping it up, talking. And he stayed with me for, for the whole hour. Then when finally Mario got, got there, he helped Mario with the wheelchair. So that was number one this fucking week. Second one, um, como se dice? You guys know I look like a fucking suicidal ass bitch. I burned my hand right here and it got fucking infected. My hand got all fat, it got red. It was a fucking mess. I called my nurse, Kat. I called her my nurse cause she's like a fucking certified ass bitch, you know? Y me dijo, you need to go to the hospital because you could get sepsis or sepsis or some shit as this. So I went to the hospital and um, I found this girl and she was like, um, bird, bird motherfucking Tines. And she's like, what are you doing in Bakersfield? And I'm like, I live here. And she's like, why would you move to Bakersfield? <coughs> Bitch. Because this is what I could afford. Like, what, okay, let me, let me sign up. Let me sign up. Let me get a house at Beverly Hills. Y en una pinche week voy a vivir en la puta calle. This is what I could afford, and I'm proud of my fucking home. Y esta es mi ciudad, and I'm getting to know it, and fuck what you said, and fuck what you heard. And I'm like, shit. But I really like the fucking hospital in this bitch. Because you know I'm a Henry Mayo bitch. And um, the hospital was popping. They were really organized. Like, I was out of there by two hours. And I got my fucking blood done. My blood was all good. 
and everything was um and i got my antibiotics and mama knows a la chingada so anyways today's video sabes como las pinches viejas las kardashians y todas pinches viejas mamonas siempre they're showing their fridge and their kitchen and shit like that I showed you guys the kitchen when we got here, but I haven't showed you guys the kitchen, like the developing kitchen. Ahorita hay un pinche desmadre, pero les voy a enseñar. Because I was going to make the um, fish ceviche video, pero luego, like I haven't had time. Pero let's fucking show you el pinche desmadre. But before we start, I want to give a special shout out to Sheer Love and Cholitas by Lori. They don't fucking know me, bruh. But they're coming from Ontario, right? And I invited them to the party. And they're gonna help me get Mandy's cake. Because you know how there's fucking cakes, like it's a fucking castle and a fucking bridge, and then there's a little dolphin and I don't pinch a fountain and the fucking cake looks fucking bad badass. But when it comes to like cutting it up and like it tastes like not that good. But let me tell you, bitch, this fucking place in Glendale, it's called Karina's Cake House. Kashkon Whiskey Cake. It's fucking Armenian. Oh my. I've never had a fucking cake this fucking good, bro. It's like, um, como se dice? Like crispy and like spongy and like sweet, but not too sweet. And it tastes like, oh, uh, I'm so fucking good. So I'm so excited for people to try that because, you know, every, every every party they go to is tres leches or, you know, Mexican stuff. And I love my Mexican stuff. But when I see some other culture fucking getting it on with some bomb ass fucking shit, shit, let's ride on that motherfucking roller coaster. So yeah, tenemos un desmadre, but I really want to show you guys my kitchen because I'm proud of it. And you guys know how much it took to fucking get here. You know, when it, when everything, before everything happened, um, when my brother-in-law went to jail the first time for choking me, it was a fucking mess, bro. My mother-in-law was so pissed at me. She was so fucking mad at me. But we were still living in the same house. And I remember it was awkward making my videos. But I was like, ah, you know, you fucking try to make ideas, trying to figure it out. And I was like, well, let's, let me show all these motherfucking fridges. So I made a video and I'm showing the fridges and showing all the ollas and showing everything we got. Because when I got to the house, she's like, you know, everything's ours. And I was like, you're welcome. And I felt very welcome. But I remember uh, we were at the swamp meet. The swamp meet meet where we meet meet meet. Um, and she called me and I put it on speaker. And she's like, don't you ever record anything from my house none of that is yours you have nothing none of that is yours you are nothing you came with nothing and you are like it was so fucking bad it hurt my fucking heart so now i'm gonna show even if it's fucking old ass fucking pots and pinches cucharas para la madre it's my shit it's our house and we're gonna make a fucking party up in this bitch and we're gonna get it popping but that's mandy Y ahí anda la Mandy en chinga, la pinche Sweet 16. You're supposed to be like in a pedestal, sitting down. Mandy, you're supposed to be like in a pedestal, sitting down with flowers and getting a fucking manicure. So I'm going to show you guys this. Welcome back to my place. You know, I take lots of pride. Now, fuck that. This is the fridge. So, you know, back in the other fridge... We have the Homer Simpson, well, we brought that motherfucker and he's here. And I told him, make sure to bring the Homer Simpson, make sure to, make sure to bring the Homer Simpson. These motherfuckers lost so much of my stuff. Okay. Oh, and then we have a shrine for little Mario over here. Him on a air balloon, him as a cowboy. <laughs> him. <laughs> him everything. It's, There's more pictures, but he fell down. His little shrine because he's the king of the house. <laughs> You know, as mothers, we love our uh, No, I mean, he made a shine for himself. He put I it there. I know, he, but he's so funny. He just loves himself. He's, like, full of himself. <laughs> like, who made this child? But anyways, este, so when all the moving happens, since I wasn't involved, they lost so much of my stuff. My favorite yellow Nike Cortez. Se perdieron. Estoy toda triste, pero anyways. 
So this is the bridge. I really like it. Mario chose it. So first of all, this is on top of the fridge and I want to get rid of it because we don't even eat cereal. I think Mario growing up always had these containers, you know, full of cereal and that's how he imagined his house. But for me, it's a hell motherfucking ass no. We don't even, we eat eggs with weenies or pinche chorizo or like, I don't even know, arroz, whatever. But I hate those fucking things. I know, every time I look at it, I feel like it's for like cucarachas, but you know, they don't go inside the cereal. So that's what I imagine. Right, there's a molcajete that my sister gave to me. I love it. Getting to the good stuff. So this is officially my first fridge ever. All the other fridges that I've had, um, I got them free on Facebook. You get some free shit on Facebook. It's called like Marketplace or some shit. And you just put free fridge. So anyways, let's open the doors to heaven. Oh! <laughs> hey, bitch, I'm using my fucking hand that's all weak and shit, but it's working. So as you can see, I'm not using aluminum foil because unos pajaritos, some birdies told me that aluminum foil is actually bad for your food. So let's see what is in the fridge. So of course, my little motherfucking horse, we have some queso fresco. Because queso fresco is like, we have some corn in the back because I wanna make a shrimp boil. We have some salsa for some enchiladas, some pesto pasta. We have every single type of tortilla you could think of. We have taco ones, we have bigger ones, we have king size, we have the regular ones. We have some birria from the other day, some pico de gallo, um, a gang of garlic, the bigger tortillas, and I wanted to show you guys So this. I bet you motherfucking money that all these Kardashians, all these famous people have not, do not have these magical berries right here. So these berries are from my uncle's tree from my, where my mom lives. And they're not cherries, but they have some fucking name. It's on my Instagram. Anyways, they're full of collagen and vitamins. My mom came and said, here, eat these berries. They're good for everything. You know how the Mexicans be like, oh, come this is bueno pa tus huesos, es bueno pa la chingada. My mom just straight up told me these are good for fucking everything. So anyways, I love garlic. Garlic loves me, so I have a gang of it. Aquí tenemos onion, tomatillos, aguacates. Como se llama limones amarillos, yellow lemons. We have all the good stuff. The middle one is where I keep all my cheeses, more queso fresco. Um, we have la chona cheese, which is my favorite one right now. We have some weenies. Que mas, que mas. We have a gang of more green lemons. Because the green lemons are for the ceviche, the lemon ceviche. And this is our main fridge where we come and get our fucking, como se dice? Our food. As you can see, there's not a lot of meat. It's como cosas. What do we have in the freezer? We have some thrifty ice cream porque es la más buena, bitch. I, like, these are good. These are Mandy's, Ben and Jerry's. Pero thrifty is the best. La esta, como se llama? I don't know, rainbow some shit. And también tenemos los gancitos. Did you know that um, gancitos in Mexico are more expensive if they're frozen? If you buy them frozen, like they're gonna charge anyway, you more. Since we are by the fields, Mario's uncle, what's his Memo? He brought us. Tío some, Memo? El tío Memo. And his wife? And his vieja, no cierto, his lady. Um, his younger wife brought us melon, um, se llama sandías, melones, cherries. The neighbors gave us some papas. She, we got everything up in here. And then these are for we the. We just have to get them ready. So we just get the cups and you put the little top. Yeah, bring these for La Mandy. I'm so excited. But who the fuck? And then we have this crusty ass, sad ass mango with the tunas on the side. Oh my gosh, so crusty. Pero todavía sirve, lo tenemos sí. for decoration. But anyways, Mandy's gonna cut up the fruits. My tia from Texas, she worked at a hotel for 24 years, cutting up fruit. She was supposed to come. She was supposed to come, but 
She my, got COVID. No, my cousin Ari got COVID, and then my other cousin got COVID. Did you know that they were fighting? So anyways, so my cousin was blaming the other cousin because he couldn't go to Mexico, mm. and it was his first time going to Mexico. Drama. Drama, and then my tia was like, you guys have to make up because... You know, some, some one of you guys could die overnight and you guys have to wake up and I'm in the phone and we're talking about fucking culebras. Aren't they vaccinated? Yes, that's what I told him. So you can't die over it no When more. you get COVID, when you're vaccinated, you're still supposed to get COVID, but you're supposed to like not die. It makes you stronger. Yeah, that's why when I was in the congregate, they didn't wear masks because they're like, let the patients get COVID, fuck them. <laughs> so they could fucking get stronger. So anyways. It's a whole fucking mess, and my ass is sweaty. My boho's probably sweaty, but I don't feel it, so. Mm -hmm. But anyways, Mandy, how do you feel? I feel very excited, emocionada. Emocionada? And it's just like, kind of confusing, but that. Si. You haven't had a birthday party since you were five. 11 years. 11 years of your vida. That's yeah, a whole that, lifetime. That pinche Sofia, what is she doing? Record her. Nothing. Over there. Oh money. yeah, can I show the painting? Yes! So show me the painting. Show the painting. Turn it around so I can here. Yes! Yes, Sophia, the motherfucker. That is so Sophia. nice. Sophia, the painter. Sophia, the motherfucking. ¿Cómo se dice? Not in Artist. The Artist. Okay, <laughs> so now we're going to show the other fridge. Cut the chair. Mommy, you're an alcoholic. What? Dios mio, you have 20 beers in the back. I haven't even drank one of them. Dios beers. mio, mother. This is for your sweet 16. Denial. Yo ni tomo, Mandy. You see me every fucking night. I do not drink. <laughs> you never I drink in your life. Specifically, fucking Red Bull and water. Only tequila. See on me? No, mommy. I'm drinking fucking Mandy. Mommy, we have like 10 gallons of beer over the house. If you say que no la quieren. This is a fucking Mexican bro. A kid turns five. Fucking 20 packs of modelos. A kid turns first communion, 20 packs of modelos. For every little single fucking thing. But ahí vamos, ahí vamos. They're, all this, all of this for Mandy. Mami, mm. the modelo company will be broke without Mexicans. Exactly. See? But I think the modelo company comes from Mexico. Oh, it does, yeah. So, Mexican. True. Food. Pinches narcos, narcos. <laughs> Pinches beer. So anyways, this hat right here is... Vintage, it comes specifically to protect you from the rays of the sun. I mean, do you know what vintage is? Yeah. It's more than 20 years old. It is. The fucking, the palitos los hicieron hace 20 años. ¿Qué mm. crees? It's made of tree. A tree takes like three, like 10 years to grow, I me. Mean. I don't know, but this shit, these fucking hats work. Because I used to not wear them in my, in my, I used to get like manchas. Remember the first time I got manchas in my face? See. Fuck that, you guys need to protect your face. And here's an air fryer. And the air fryer that Sofia gave me that sucked ass. Never, ever, ever get a fucking air fryer that has little windows. From this company. Fuck this air fryer, but I couldn't throw it away because Sofia gave it to me. So anyways, this is my fridge when I was in the... Congregate. Congregate. And... As you can see, todos los pinches putazos que me di from the wheelchair. And right here, I had a sign, don't take Erica's Red Bulls, because I had a little cabron that would, um, he would steal my Red Bulls. A blonde cabron. A blonde, skinny, Caucasian. Russian. <laughs> Russian. It's a little fuck, but that's where we keep the mames. And that's where we keep the other mames, the fresh mames, and one Pacifico. Mm-hmm. Because the mamays have to stay cold. So See, and fresh. This, and fresh, this is where we make sure. It's not like the best fucking whatever, but this little fridge has a sentimental value, value. to mi corazón. Mi corazón. And here's a freezer. And this is a freezer. I know. Pero aquí vamos, wey, te digo. Um, let's see. This is, I didn't even plan this. So this has a little bit of ice. It has all the meats that we need. It has crab legs, it has more of those. It has all the good meat. It has uh, milanesa, fries. It has this thing right here for your face with a pelo. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, this freezer is... Re oh, this is for Mandy. Always, always on deck. The longaniza. Uh -huh. But yeah, this is a little freezer. And I'm very proud of these little shits because it's nobody else's. It's ours. See. Si. And... It's not rented, see? 
No es rentado. Remember the bunk bed? <laughs> oh, yeah. It was rented. <laughs> so, the first thing that we bought, we was from the cura, curacao. The curacao. Mm -hmm. It's curacao. Curacao. And I have, they had have to check my credit and everything. And then finally, we got it for like $2,000, a fucking bunk bed. But we have to give payments. And then you never paid. We never we paid like two payments, and then we couldn't afford it anymore. And I was scared because I thought they were gonna take my fucking bunk bed. <laughs> it was like such a fucking mess. You thought they were gonna repo the bunk bed? Yeah. Y luego, it fucked up my credit. So then we couldn't get a house to fucking leave my mother-in-law's house. It was a fucking my life is so fucking crazy, bro. Over a fucking bunk bed. You guys ruined your credit for a bunk bed and a sound system. That was your fucking dad, a fucking idiot. When Mandy, when I was pregnant for Mandy, Mario got a card from fucking, I don't know where, Wells Fargo. It was when all that fucking Wells Fargo shit was going on. And Mario's like, look, I got $2,000. And I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna buy her a crib, he's gonna buy her something. This motherfucker bought himself a $2,000 sound system. And all it did for Mandy, Mandy was in the back seat, fucking two, three days old. <laughs> like, that shit would put her to sleep. I mean, that's why I failed my I failed my hearing test at school. Porque si te traumaron desde chiquita. I can't even hear anything. So, fuck you, Kardashians. You guys got shit on me. Mommy, I what? I got three. No, I got four fucking fridges to suck my fucking ass, bitches. What? What did the Kardashians do to you? Nothing. No más estoy diciendo que se creen muy muy porque tiene. Ay, mira mi pinche. Mother, <gasps> I am your daughter. What are you doing? Oh my gosh! Okay, cut. Right here's the most special fridge, cause this is the one that was ours, ours, and it still works. It's a little broken, a little fucked, but it's okay, and it's for the drinks for tomorrow. I know they're not very, como se dice, organized as we can see. And right there, they're my favorite drinks. The dough, it's the pineapple fucking juices. Oh my gosh. I don't know if they make your pussy juice sweet or whatever, but I love those. With some water and some ice. Perfecto para la calor. And since we live in Bakersfield, you have to put the fruit in the fridge. Because that's how it is. Also, a neighbor, our neighbor gave us a gang of chicken. So all that right there is chicken. You can't see it. Cause Mario put it in a bag and it looks like a trash bag. But it's chicken. And Sophia and her damn iced tea. I don't know why they're open in there. But there's some bolis in there. See, this is a problem that all my titty, no, little titty, itty, bitty, itches, little titty, bitty bitches have. So, my bra size is what, 32B, A? I don't even know what the fuck. And the bra goes all the way up because it has nothing to grab onto. And it pisses me off because, like before, I would just be like, okay, let me put my bra down. But now, it's a fucking mess. And I like to wear sport bras. But if I wear a sport bra, little Mario says, oh, your titties look like grandma titties. And I don't mind having grandma titties because I know one day I'm going to be a grandma. I'm going to be a fine-ass grandma. I'm going to be a fine-ass grandma. Toda pinche pero fine-ass grandma. So anyways, I hope you guys like the video. A ver como va el party. Next video, I va a ser el pinche party para que lo miren todos ustedes. Thank you for the motherfucking love. Thank you for the motherfucking hate. Shout out to all my bird gang, 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 motherfuckers. Peace and motherfucking love.